this new future that is about to deliver to you everything that you have ever wanted, Pisces. And that is no lie and that is no joke. I cannot make this up. Your future is about to unfold exactly the way that you want it to. Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get you a blanket, get you a pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on a big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey Pisces, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's going on with you guys? I am going to do a birthday reading today. What? A birthday reading? Pisces season is way gone. Yeah, but today's my birthday. And not only am I a Taurus sun, but I am a Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. And all of that Pisces happened on this day. So we're going to do a reading for the sign of Pisces because reading the tarot brings joy to my soul. And I feel just a need to read. So let's see what they have to say. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective of Pisces with me here today. And Spirit, we want to know what's going on. What's coming towards Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Spirit, what is it that the Pisces needs to know? Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the wisdom to understand it. Please allow me the words to ex explain it appropriately. Where is the... I need to stop right there. Where is the stopping point for Pisces? I'll cut three times and pull from the top. All right, you guys, here we go. Let's go. One, two, and three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, the lovers. This card is called Harmony. All of these cards are supposed to be read in the upright, but my clarifying cards will be what they always are. So the lovers on the bottom of the deck, to the moon, the wheel of fortune, and justice. Look at that. All four of those major arcana on the bottom. Set those aside. We will address those when we come back to them. All right. Nine of Pentacles. This card is called Material Harvest. It is a card about um, self-sufficiency, independence, hard work, paying off to solitude. Solitude is the hermit. Authority with the emperor. And love begins with the Ace of Cups. Look at that, you guys. Wowzer. So I'm going to align these so you can see them, right? And with these particular cards, I only do four in a row, three rows of four. Okay, new love begins. The waiting game, the two of wands, the future. This is the eight of cups, emotional withdrawal, patience, which is temperance, and the light, which is the sun. Very nice. Rejoicing in celebration with the Three of Cups. A firm foundation with the Four of Pentacles. Temptation with the Devil. And the Two of Cups, Spiritual Union. Recognition and Reward. The World Card, an end of a cycle. And Awareness with the Magician. Absolutely phenomenal. Awareness, look at that. Obstacles and challenges with the Five of Wands and Wisdom with the Hierophant. Stand your ground with the Seven of Wands and the Truth. Nice. Partnerships and alliances. The Hanged Man. The Six of Cups. And the Six of Swords. And Transformation. Fantastic. Positive movement forward. Wonderful. That's where we'll stop. Okay. All right, let's clarify with 
I haven't used these guys in a good minute, so let's clarify with these. All right, Pisces, what is going on here with all this? What is going on? Let's let's dive in and figure it out. So material harvest with the nine of pentacles. Um, Self-sufficient, independent, uh, doing okay, uh, feeling good about things. He's got food in this card. He's got money. He's got water. He's got the sun on his back. Um, he has... Uh, he has it going on. What is this about, Spirit? Material harvest for Pisces. What is this about for Pisces? Ooh, the okay, Pisces. This is a big message. This is a big one. This is important. Okay? So whomever this is for, whomever I am talking to, general reading, right? If I was reading your cards myself, we could make a whole lot more sense of this. So, Material harvest. First card out sets the tone for everything. Pisces, Pisces, you about to hit the jackpot in your life. You are about to hit the jackpot, Pisces. Okay? Death in reverse. And it's all because of a massive personal transformation that is about to take place in your life. Or has been taking place and is about to culminate in your life in the near future. Okay. Pisces about to hit the jackpot. You are going through or have gone through and are about to reap the benefits of some kind of massive personal transformation. What's been going on with Pisces? Well, solitude with the hermit. Okay. Trump nine is the hermit. Solitude. You have done some deep, 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 deep soul searching and introspection, Pisces. You have done a lot, a lot, a lot of work, whomever I am talking to, and it's not everybody because quite honestly, most of y'all out there haven't done any work at all. You're just mindlessly watching YouTube videos so you can get some direction in your life when you haven't even put in the work that it takes to know the source that is pointing you in the best direction of your life. So whoever I'm talking to right now has put in a lot of work. In this solitude, you have contemplated why it is that you couldn't manifest something that you wanted to manifest in your life. Nine of Swords in reverse. In this solitude, you have contemplated a painful lesson and what it is you have done and how it is you have gone about doing things in your life. And you have contemplated very, very deeply what it is that needs to change about yourself. The Five of Pentacles. Um, possibly financial downfall, possibly struggling financially, definitely a sense of insecurity in your sense of well-being. To the tower, um, implosion, probably implosion after implosion. Why does my life never go the way that I plan it to go? How is it that things just keep crumbling underneath me? Why can't I get ahead? Why can't I sustain a meaningful relationship? Why can't I sustain a meaningful job? Why can't I, why can't I, why can't I? That is everything that you have asked yourself in the solitude of the hermit and everything that you have communed with source about in your life. To the five of cups, loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. Why has my life not gone the way that I want it to go? What do I need to to learn, to change, to grow from in this experience that has been my life. What do I need to do? And that is the massive transformation of this death card in reverse right here that brings you the harvest that your soul desires because you were willing to put in the work and do what it takes to look in the mirror and change some things about yourself. Again, the hermit, okay? So authority with the emperor. This is you taking control of your life. This is you coming out of this hermit energy and taking control of your life. 
the emperor is lesson four. He comes behind lesson three, which is the empress, who comes behind lesson two, which is the high priestess, and behind lesson one, that is the magician. You have all of those cards in this reading. Lesson one, what you think about comes about. You have the power to manifest anything that you put your mind to. And you can manifest by accident a complete shit show in your life by not being in control of your thoughts. Imagine what you could manifest if you were in control of your thoughts. That brings you to the high priestess. Your intuition, your internal compass, the hermit, solitude, soul-searching, introspection, your internal compass pointing you towards your true north all the time, every time you've come to terms with that. You've stepped into your power as the empress. You are on point with your mind. You are on point with your intuition and you manifest your life according to the path that your intuition is leading you. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You are taking control of your life. The emperor comes in behind the empress and he creates in the physical what she has created in the internal and it becomes reality. That's about to happen for you, Pisces. The six of cups. Six of cups talks about your past, your memories, your nostalgia. You have come to terms with who you are where you came from, and what made you to be the way that you are, the good, the bad, the indifferent. You have stepped into your own Pisces, and you are owning your accountability for everything that has come to pass in your life. And because of that, it is the catalyst for a massive transformation in your life. Three of Pentacles. Teamwork and collaboration to the Eight of Swords in reverse, a new perspective. Because you have come to terms with your past, Pisces, you are now able to engage with others in a new perspective. You have come to an understanding of what it is you will and will not tolerate, what it is you will and will not accept, and you have done the work to be a viable participant in teamwork and collaboration with the people and the relationships that are going to occur in your future. New perspective. Love begins. Is this new love? Very possibly. Very possibly new love. The Ace of Cups, Love Begins, is also about self-love. It's about emotional growth and emotional maturity. And for some of you, whomever this is hitting home with, this is the first time in your life that you've ever truly embraced self-love because you've come to terms with your past. You've come to terms with the who, what, where, when, why, and how. And you're realizing now that none of that matters because you cannot reconcile the past. You can only accept it. You can begin to create your future by the way that you perceive your present. And that's what you're doing. You are growing emotionally, which very well could be setting you up for new love in your life because now you have a new perspective of everything after doing some very deep soul searching and some very deep introspection. Ten of Swords in reverse. This is renewal and regeneration from the pain, the grief, the crisis um, of your past. To the Four of Cups. Because you have contemplated, reevaluated, and took some kind of spiritual journey. Because you see, the guy in this cup, unlike some other decks, in, in other decks, the guy in this card is ignoring that fourth cup. Four is the number of stability. Water is your emotions. Cups is a representation of water, your emotions. See, you have contemplated and reevaluated a lot of things, particularly in your sense of emotion. And in this card, you are 
accepting that cup. I don't know if y'all can see that, but the, the, the source energy is pouring this information into you and it's bringing stability to your emotional processes and you are readily receiving it. And because of that, there is going to be regeneration from a painful past. Possibly regeneration of a painful past. Not of the pain of the past, but some kind of healing. But most importantly, it is you stepping forward to what? The Two of Wands. Into your future. Why can't you see that? Into your future. Your future. To the Queen of Cups. Grown and mature. The card of Pisces, Queen of Cups. Grown and mature. At, at peace with yourself, at peace with your feelings, at peace with your past, and at peace with where your future is going. Beautiful. 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 The Eight of Cups, emotional withdrawal. It's right underneath what it is you worked out in the hermit energy up there, okay? Emotional withdrawal. What is this? Well, it's you finally coming to terms... Six of Swords, with a bunch of mental baggage that has kept you stagnated. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse for a long time. To the Page of Swords in reverse, all talk, no action, undelivered promises. Perhaps you were stuck in this energy for a long time and you just didn't take any accountability. Perhaps if this is renewal of something from your past, you haven't spoken to this person in a long time. If it's new love that's that you are being prepared for, that you are only just now capable of engaging in from a healthy perspective, this page of Swords in Reverse talks about expectations that you used to have before for the solitude of the hermit about relationships. Either way, either way, wherever this falls within your life, the Ace of Wands says, now and only now are you prepared with the proper inspiration and the proper motivation to push forward and create in your life what it is that your soul desires. Patience. Patience. This is the temperance card. This is about being tempered in all aspects. Your mind is tempered. Your emotions are tempered. Your sense of well-being is tempered. And your flesh is tempered. Your desires are tempered. Getting it all under control. To the page of wands. Inspiration. Aspiration. Excitement. Enthusiasm to the king of pentacles the sun happiness success vitality and justice what is this saying this is saying that for the first time possibly ever in your life you are in a position where all is well you it's right beneath coming to terms with all of this stuff right for the first time possibly ever, you are in a position where all is well. The sun, you see the path, you see the purpose, you have had clarity. This is the path and the purpose for success and vitality in your life. Your patience has paid off. Your solitude has paid off. Your personal transformation has paid off in spades, Pisces. Enthusiasm, excitement, exploration, discovery, a message, the king of pentacles. If you are looking for a job and you have done the work that you need to do to figure out how you can be the best that you can possibly be in every aspect of your life, this job is coming. It's, it's yours and it's going to be extremely successful. Hmm. Page of Wands, exploration and discovery under the guise of patience. If you have explored and discovered what it is that was holding you back from any kind of success, relationships, career, whatever. 
you are about to be extremely successful in your future. Your patience to work on your issues in solitude, to come to terms with things, to take control of your life is going to pay off in spades. This King of Pentacles also could very well be the desires of someone's heart to have a long-term, committed, steady, stable, monogamous relationship. This Page of Wands could be a message coming to you somehow, some way, or a spark or a chemistry with someone that you have been patiently manifesting while you work on your own personal growth. Whatever this is, your desire for personal growth has brought this into your life and it is about to blow you up, Pisces. Justice says you have been accountable for your journey. You have been accountable for your path. You have been accountable for your spirituality and your personal growth. And we are about to bless you tenfold what you have lost in your human understanding, in your spiritual understanding. Truth justice, honesty, fairness, your just rewards, life finally treating you right because you've learned how to treat yourself right. Rejoice in celebration with the Three of Cups. This card is about meeting people, celebrating, getting together, and having, sharing mutually satisfactory emotions. Sometimes it's about reuniting, but this card clarified by the Hierophant talks about commitments and obligations. Perhaps this is a negotiation for a job. They take you out to dinner and they offer you this position. Perhaps this is a, a celebration that you go to where you meet the person that you are going to have a long, steady, stable, long-term relationship with. Perhaps this Hierophant is your spiritual growth, spiritual wisdom. Perhaps this Hierophant is, well, not perhaps, it absolutely is some kind of commitment that you are about to enter into, into your life. And this commitment creates a firm foundation with the four of pentacles. Four, four is stability, structure, okay? And four is also a card of stagnation. So coming out of some kind of stagnation and creating for yourself structure and foundation by which to begin to build in this personal transformation, this new future, that is about to deliver to you everything that you have ever wanted, Pisces. And that is no lie and that is no joke. I cannot make this up. Your future is about to unfold exactly the way that you want it to. Because you have put in the work to fix your brokenness, get a handle on things, and push forward in a soul understanding that the past does not dictate the future. You are about to create Four of Pentacles again, a, a, a beautiful, solid future for yourself. What could be the problem though? Well, temptation with the devil right there. The devil is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. It's clarified by the Queen of Wands in reverse. This is saltiness. This is holding um, a grudge of some sort. I'm going to get one more on this Queen of Wands. Saltiness, holding a grudge, a lack of confidence. Tell me about this Queen of Wands, Spirit. What is the, the Hierophant in reverse? Okay, from a previous commitment that didn't work out. Give me one more reevaluation of a belief system. Give me one more, please. One more, please. One more. Reevaluation of a belief system. The 
High Priestess. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. So what could the potential problem be here, Pisces? Okay. The devil. Temptation. An attachment that is a restriction to your growth. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Hold in a grudge. Hold in a grudge, um, some kind of saltiness. Okay. So what could be your downfall is backsliding. <laughs> really, Pisces. Backsliding. Let in L, you know, let in the old devil get a hold of you and tell you, you know, you don't deserve this. This, this, that you don't, you don't deserve this. You're not worth this. This isn't for you. This isn't divine orchestration. This isn't your spiritual path. This isn't where you need to be. The Hierophant in reverse. Hierophant in reverse talks about a little bit of disgruntledness from your past to me. To the Three of Cups in reverse. Three of Cups in reverse talking about third party interference. Okay? Third party interference. So, Pisces. Let's back up. For some of you, this devil is your shadow self, okay? It's your shadow self. It is the side of you that tells you that you're not worth it, that your needs don't matter, that it is uh, that you are justified in being angry and salty, that you are um, that you are um, never good enough because of the three of cups in reverse. At some point, for some of you in your life, um, you were told that you weren't good enough or made to feel, with the cups energy, that you weren't good enough. Perhaps your childhood, perhaps your past relationship, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. But for some of you, the devil on your shoulder is your shadow self reminding you that you are not worth it, that you're not worthy. The Hierophant in reverse talks about a reevaluation of your belief system. That's what this personal transformation is up here. Remember, remember what you have learned in your solitude, in your meditation, in the soul searching and the introspection. Remember what you have come to terms with and don't let this devil on your shoulder keep you from engaging in the beautiful, beautiful future that is ahead of you. That's why this card is temptation, because you're going to be tem tempted to backslide into the old Pisces. But in fact, what you need to do is keep your eye on the prize and keep going forward because you are worthy of this beautiful future that awaits you the star. It is your path. It is your purpose. It is the direction that your soul is intended to take. When it got all off track with all of your human decisions about your life, this was the path that you are supposed to be on. Welcome home. Welcome back to your path and your purpose. The high priestess, let it be so. This is you, Pisces. Understand in your soul that you are worthy of the beautiful future that is about to open up for you. Stop waiting for the other shoe to drop, Pisces. You have earned this spiritual union. The two of cups. You have love begins, new love with the two of, with the ace of cups. And now you have spiritual union. You have the king of pentacles in the center of your reading. The Page of Wands, your patience has paid off, Pisces. There is going to be some kind of commitment, either in a relationship or in some kind of a career endeavor for some of you. Recognition and reward, the Three of Pentacles. Teamwork and collaboration, this is the perfect person for you, Pisces. This is the perfect job for you, Pisces. This is the perfect situation. You like what they bring to the table. They like what you bring to the table. And because of that, there is something to be built between the two of you. The universe. 
major cycle closure and major cycle opening. The closure of the past and the beginning of the future, an, an absolutely be beautiful future, Pisces. Beautiful. Why? Because of your awareness. Because of your spiritual understanding that your human perspective has done nothing but produce tower after tower after tower in your life. And now you are aware of the power that you have to manifest the reality that you want for yourself. You have cleared the air from the past. You have come to terms with your mistakes and you are now stepping forward into the light of the sun. Success, vitality, justice, purpose, path, firm foundation, commitment. It's beautiful, Pisces. It's beautiful. The hangman. You paused, you processed, you took a step back, and you reevaluated your life. That's that whole top row. And you have done the work to prepare yourself for what is about to pop open in your life. Don't let the devil tell you different the obstacles and challenges of your life, you have overcome them. You win, Pisces. You have stepped through the threshold with this transformation of death in reverse. You have stepped through the threshold that has kept you bound in the past. You see, the powers that be, and it's all spiritual warfare, the powers that be on the other side of things, they wanted you to stay stuck. They wanted you to be consumed. They wanted you to be stagnated. And you have fought against that, and you have won. And you are now stepping into what is rightfully yours, Pisces divinely orchestrated into your life, the path and the purpose, the Hierophant. It is a huge, huge commitment for you. And it is brought to you because of your wisdom and growth. The Seven of Wands, stand your ground. Stand your ground against what? The temptation over here that you're not good enough for this. The, tem the temptation over here that the other shoe is going to drop. The high priestess says, no, 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 no. In your soul, this is your path. This is your truth with judgment. This is your truth. Conscious, cognitive decision to draw a line in the sand and say, it all stops here today. I will not repeat tomorrow what I have done yesterday. Boom. Partnerships and alliances. Now you're ready. Now you're ready, Pisces. Now you're ready. The sacrifice that you have made in the hanged man energy, the pausing, the processing, the reevaluating of life, it's all about to come to fruition for you. The six of cups, memories of your past, past relationships, past life, past, past childhood, the past, the whole past. You are moving on from it. It's time to move on from it. Moving on from the past because of a massive, massive, crazy, insane transformation of your life. Your whole life, Pisces. Your whole life, Pisces, is about to take a gigantic turn for the better because of the work that you have done on yourself. If you have not done this work on yourself, this is not your reading. If you would like to do the work on yourself and have this be your reading, it is available to everyone. I don't care if you're a Pisces or not. This is the roadmap of how to be triumphantly successful in your life. You come to terms with the things that you cannot change. You take control of the things that you have power over. 
and you manifest the life that you want. You manifest what it is that your heart desires provided it does no harm. You manifest it. Massive death transformation to the eight of pentacles. Why? Because you've worked on it. You've engaged, you've built upon the past to make your future better. You have not allowed your past to consume your future. You are building upon your past to make a better future for yourself. And these four major arcana on the bottom of the deck. We started with this. The lovers. Huge message. Several messages right there. For those of you who desire a relationship, it's on its way. For those of you who desire harmony in your relationships with others around you, it's about to happen. For those of you who have stepped into a sense of self-love for the first time in your life, you're about to get rewarded for that. For those of you who have once and for all decided that the most important relationship in your life is your relationship with Source and have made a commitment to follow the path of your soul instead of the path of your flesh, your whole world is about to break wide open with the most amazing blessings you could possibly ever imagine. The shadow, the moon, the internal struggle between the dark side and the light side, you have triumphed and the wheel of fortune can now begin to spin. Your destiny is knocking at the door, Pisces, and it is about to explode in your life. The wheel of fortune is going to lay the foundation for you to create the desires of your soul. Justice. 11. Justice. Why? Because justice in your life is dependent upon your accountability to follow your soul's path. Follow your soul's path, Pisces. It is the only thing that matters in the whole big wide world of everything. Your soul's path, your growth, Look at that. I cannot make this up. Spirituality is the oracle card that we're going to end this with. Is there anything else that you want to say here, Spirit? Anything else that you want to say? Anything else? Anything? Oh, goodness. Lost them all there. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on. One more. Anything else? Going once. Going twice. Going three times, going three times, and gone. All right, that is your message. Spirituality. Let's see what this is all about. Seven. Seventy-seven. Spirituality. This card indicates a need to enhance your connection to the divine, to improve your relationship with yourself, as well as your quality of life. You are not a human being having a spiritual experience. You are a spiritual being having a human experience. And your relationship with Source is your path to inner peace. When you find your way to God, you find your way back home. By selecting this card, you are being, you are being encouraged to celebrate and strengthen your relationship with the divine in whichever way you choose. It doesn't matter what you choose, for there is no right or wrong. Only you can know your ultimate path to God. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life. Cycles that are encouraging you to strengthen your relationship with the divine. You're being urged to communicate with your lost loved ones, spirit guides, and angels, and to ask for assistance when required. No request goes unanswered, and no request is too big or too small. My relationship with the divine is my path to inner peace. And whoever this reading is for has 
hit the jackpot. You figured it out. You understand. You told your flesh to take a back seat. You understand that your human understanding of everything is very, very limited. And you have tapped into that place that we all have. And you have decided to follow the path of your soul and manifest your dreams. And that is beautiful, Pisces. You have hit the jackpot. Namaste.